How I'm doing? My name is Darren. Some people may know me as Fusion. I'm my gamer tag, and yes, this is my first official YouTube video. I decided, why not? Let's make on this sick ass character. I'm a man. Um, I played around, I think, five to six hours with this character, and uh, I have a pretty good understanding of how to use him. So I decided to just make a tutorial. It just came out yesterday, so let's get into it. So, first with him, one, two, we're definitely going to be one of your most used posts. And uh, to finish it is a one, two, two, as you see. And it's zero on block, so technically you can just keep doing this and it's safe. Uh, back one, let's pause the follow up back one, one, and it's a launcher. Let me take the block off real quick. Whoops. Block mode. Let's see? Launch. It also has back on two. Just to mix people up if they try to duck the second hit back on one. Well, you can just do back on two. You also have down three. Uh, it's, it's not too slow but it's definitely as you can tell the range is not too good but definitely should be using this um bad four which has that follow up only when it hits on block it will only do this then you also have down four which is a little quicker i believe right? oh actually no it's the same start okay same start up but just not the follow up you also have forward four, which has a follow up to forward four, which is a, another launcher. You also have this, but I don't recommend using it too much. I guess it has some range, but it's a very awkward kick. Forward three. And as you see, it's like a mid low, so they're gonna have to duck that. And you can follow it up with this flying stance. Um, what else does he have? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So, another follow up to the forward 401 this launcher is square and X or 1 and 3. And you can also just hit your grab button. Finish the same thing. Um, two, two, which has an overhead, which is pretty good considering that you have this overhead. And this move is very special, not only because of the speed, oh, whoops, but look at the range on that. Look at that. That's insane. And I believe when they're close, he wraps around. So if they quickly duck, boom. Cast him off guard with a crazy overhead. So this move, I wouldn't spam it, but you, you should definitely be using this as much as you can to catch people off guard. Because it's, it's pretty quick. So even if they're trying to block um, overheads a lot, you can still just do this move. Okay, on to the next. So for his launchers, so with the back one one, your basic combo is usually gonna look like this. Something like that. I'll show bigger combos at the end of the video. Um but yeah, back one one four four to the stance. So I should probably should go over that. So with his stance, which is down, back, three, this is flying stance. And while you're in this stance, you have four moves. You have one, which is grab. You have two, which is just fast. And it, with, that, with that spine crack. And then you also have three, which is an overhead. And it doesn't launch, but with certain cameos, like Scorpion, 
now to launch. Which is, I think, very useful because this move, believe it or not, is absolutely safe. Let's do block all. Look at this. Negative one. Negative one. So there's just no risk, essentially, to go in this move. Um, because if you're just across... Let's see, go back to all. And you're using the Scorpion cameo. I haven't tested it with other cameos, but I'm assuming you could find a cameo that could do the same. Like Frost, you could probably freeze right there. Look at that. Look at that. Safe overhead that slams down. So definitely use that if you ever use the Scorpion cameo. And also in his stance, he has four, which is an uppercut. It's not safe on the lock, so I wouldn't just throw this out. You could uh, combo into it, but you have to meter burn this um, flying stance. So I'll show you right here. As you can see, three hits. And also while in the stance, you can zip by doing forward and lock. And look at the speed on that. It's so sick. So sick. And you can also cancel it by just doing down and block. And you can also do it in the air. And zip. Go in the air. Go down. And it's the same. Just down and block. Cancel it. Down and block. And then forward and block. Makes you zip to the opponent. Even from over here. Look at that. Such a good move. If anyone's trying to zone you out, zip over. Grab. And then another launcher I forgot to mention was his one attack. So if you do one, two into his five cents. And this is pretty good because look at that. That's that's a fast punch. So if you're close and they mess up, then boom, combo. Every time. And so to do that combo, it would just be you do one, two, one, two, into the flying stance. So one, two, fly. And the five cents again is down back three. So you're gonna do one, two, down back, and you grab. And the grab in the stance is the one, two, five stance. And that's gonna be one of your main and useful launchers. Cause like I said, it's very fast and you just it's easy to connect. What else? What else am I missing? As far as posts go, I think that was everything. The down three, back three, forward four. This one is a little clunky, as you can see. It's kind of slow, but it gives you a launcher, so it's definitely a good move to whoops to kind of check somebody with. You know, and then I got launcher. Like I showed before, you're just gonna do. One, two, fly stance, one, this is grab. Like Once you do it a couple times, it's pretty good. At first, it's a little weird, but you have, you have a good amount of time to get that grab after you go into the stance. Um, back four, down one. Fold four, one, two, two, two. Those are your main pokes that you should be using and 
And then as far as neutral goes, moving around, I mean, you're Omni-Man. You can zip, go into the stands, and just mix up these moves. But one thing to always remember when you're in this stance, pretty much all the moves in this stance are not safe. This is not safe. This is not safe. This is safe. But it gives you no combo unless you use a cameo. And just to show what I'm talking about, I'm going to have the opponent block all. And negative 22. Negative 17, which is very high. But this is safe. And that's also negative. So your only safe option out of the stance is usually to dash. Of course, the opponent can jab you and you teleport, but so we're getting to some of his combos where his other three special moves. So he has back, forward, two, which is his chest bump. Has some decent range, and as you can see, pretty menacing and disrespectful. Whoops. And we like it. And if you meet a burner, it's also armor. So that's a good panic move to use. You have back forward four, which is a long range mid. Not safe on block. And, but while you're in the air, it's also not safe. But the bright side about it is it's an overhead launcher. As you can see, pretty cool. Then you have his mega clap. Pretty good move. It's basic version has decent range, but it's meter burn version has crazy range. Look at that. And the best part about it is this. Look at that. It completely gets rid of projectiles. That's so sick. But only the, keep in mind, only the meter burn version of this clap can deflect all projectiles, which is awesome considering his stance can also. Whoops. Oh, recorded it wrong. Let's do this. Look at that. <laughs> and this is just no meter burn, this is his regular light stance, down back. But if you meter burn, it's also this is quicker. And look at that. See that on, on the screen? That's a punish. So you can get into the stand, deflect a projectile. But in this case, Scorpion's spear is pretty unsafe, so I think that's why you have the advantage. And look. Launcher. So sick. So sick. Pretty much all his options while he's in the stance and the deflexive projectile are guaranteed besides this, of course. Because, see? No range. But let's get into some combos. So, quickly, you have one, two, three into the flight, like I showed you earlier. And I'll show you again. See? So it's gonna be one, two, down back three, which is his flight stance. And when you're in the flight stance, you're gonna click one, which is the grab. So let's show you a combo. So that combo is sick, as you can tell. But the one thing you probably didn't notice, when you're in the air with Omni Man. Which is a special case, I think for him only, I'm not too sure on that. But you, when you're in the air, if you do forward and L2, go dash. You can also do it backwards. So it gives you the opportunity when you do a launcher. Boom. See that? And it counts as a hit. When you do this in the air, it counts as a hit and it flips you to the opposite side. And that combo I did again is 1, 2, flight, 1. Get into the area, two, one, two, and just to show you, just to have no confusion, let's clear all and then go into his aerial. So, 
Yeah, this one right here. This is going to be your most used tool in the air. Um, it doesn't matter. If, you, if someone's jumping in the air, you can just go up and do it. So I'm going to show you an example. So even though this is a launcher, you know, if the enemy jumps in the air, right? You know, two, one, two, flight. And that flight is forward L2. So I'm going to show you again. And if you keep doing it, it costs a meter. But the first time you do this, it costs no meter, as you can tell. Look at that. Pretty cool. Another combo from his forward four one from earlier. So you can do one, two, one. Pretty much the same combo route. And that ender, if you're wondering what I did, it was one, I believe it was one, two, and then grab. So let me just show you this right here, the boot stain. So majority of the time, this is going to be your combo ender. There's obviously other options, but I would keep using that because it does pretty good damage. So let me try again. To flight, to flight, and boom, boom. As you can see, that ender again is right there. One, two, then square and X, which is also grab. So you have one, two, flight, one. As a combo launch, you have back two, two. Or my bad, my apologies, back one, one. Oops. As you can see right there, you have forward four one. And majority of the time, anytime you get a launcher, you're gonna be doing maybe a slight walk, just depending on how close you are to the opponent, and then you're gonna do the very first thing is the one two flight. That's gonna be your bread and butter for most of your combos, and it's pretty consistent, but as you can see, the range need to be pretty close. And then a big combo I could think of is probably this. Ooh, let's see if I can land it. Boom. Look at that. 406 damage. Really cool move. Back one, one. Into forward four one, a slight walk two two, into the flight grab. And in the air, you're gonna do as you see on the screen the duty. Most of the time, you're not gonna finish. You're gonna do two one two. You're not gonna do that last one on the screen because it looks like this. He finishes. But you wanna do two one two flight two one two flight two. One, two. And you can kind of spam it like that. And it's, once you get the timing down, it's very easy. But I think that's pretty much everything. Um, just keeping it real basic as far as combos and stuff you can do. So if you enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like, subscribe, and also stream on Twitch if you want to see those games and matches and sets. So thank you for watching, and I'm out.